hasn't been as hot throughout the triad. <laughs> it was definitely a little toasty today. <laughs> I got out for a run this morning. WXI's Chief Meteorologist Lainey Pope is in the Weather Center for us tonight. Lainey, little toasty today for me. Yeah, definitely humid out there and the temperatures heating up. Like you said, it's going to get hotter and yes, it will stay humid this week. So it's going to feel a lot like summer out there. Justin, I encourage you maybe to get out maybe in the evening or very early in the morning. We had some sunshine out there for you today. A few passing clouds and lots of folks enjoying their Sunday afternoon evening on the water there at Blues Lake. So your weather headlines for this week do have the humid air in place. 90s that are back in the forecast for several days and we've actually been relatively 90s free in the months of May and June. I'll show you the specifics in just a minute. We also have storm chances coming up, especially the latter half of the week. We've got muggy air in place Monday, Tuesday, a little steamier for Wednesday and Thursday. Our dew points are in the mid to upper 60s. Our temperatures are in the upper 80s across the area. 86 in Reedsville and Greensboro. You've got 84 in Mount Airy, 75 in North Wilkesboro. If you're going to be out on a Monday, you've got a high temperature of 90 degrees tomorrow. It's hot, it's humid, 89 in our foothill town and only a small chance that we get a shower or a thunderstorm in the mountains with a high of about 83. Here's this week, 90 on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Our normal highs are in the upper 80s this time of year. I was just talking about those 90 degree days. We only had two of them in May, and so far we've only had one in the month of June. We usually have our 90 degree days between May and September, and we usually average about 33. So it's been relatively cool. That will likely change this week. We also have only small rain chances Tuesday and Wednesday, even and Thursday with better rain chances coming at us toward the end of the week where we have had the rain. It's been heavy today, so a few heavy downpours over the mountains and foothills at the top of the newscast. We talked specifically about the western part of Grayson County where it saw some three plus inch totals and a flood advisory that will stay up until seven o'clock tonight. That includes the communities of Carsonville back toward Independence. That flood advisory has the streams and the creeks really coming up. Now, thankfully, the rain that is overhead right now is not heavy at this time and hopefully kind of raining itself out. We also have a shower there just west of Devotion along Highway 21 up towards Spa and then coming south down into Wilkes County. You can see some rain, some moderate downpours just north and west of Wilkesboro. And I do think we're going to stay rain free east of the mountains as we head through this evening. And then tomorrow we may see a few pop up showers and storms over the western terrain as well. We're likely going to have some fog and low clouds around tomorrow morning with those temperatures starting in the mid to upper 60s. Here's how Monday will shape up. We're going to be shooting into the 80s by noon with a high close to 90, a southeast wind 5, 10 miles an hour. High Temperatures under the humid day, 89 tomorrow afternoon in the foothills, and then we've got a high of about 83 late tomorrow in the mountains. So take a look at our seven day forecast, and we'll show you that we do have the heat with us all the way through this week. I do think those storm chances come up Friday and Saturday. Those are the wettest days of the week, it looks like.